this marriage thing, if you want to get married, uh, that's that's a critical thing. You, you don't want to marry somebody right away like everybody else is trying to do right now because the energy is so messed up and everybody's so desperate. Uh, is it because of the say, kids they, they're bringing in? or i just like to know what that – what that is, Tommy, is it because of COVID-19 or you mean just humans in general are trying not to get married? Well, no, it, what the, is the it? The virus is the, the main part of the reason. And then we also got Trump really? in the background of it. So we got two things huh. that are affecting the the energy of the United States right now. And everybody's hmm. doing it in the only, whatever way they can. And, and basically, like I said, most people are dealing with it in their dreams. Uh, everybody I talk to having kind of lucid dreams, a little bit kind of out there. Uh, yeah, but you can translate them. I mean, I, I I worked on dream dream study for a couple of years, and you got to translate the symbols if that if you have dreams if you can remember your dreams. Because right now, whatever you're going through, it'll show you things, but you have to be able to trans, translate the symbols. You can't go to a book of translation symbols. I mean, sure they'll say. How is he going to do his past himself. lives? Well, uh, that's what I'm I'll saying. Pull up if his past that, lives are. Uh, the well, wheel of, you know, when the, he looks in the mirror, the, if he does what I told him, he'll see his he'll life. He'll see himself? Okay. He'll see, he'll so see he's just got to start doing his inner work. He's got to learn some yeah, tools uh, with the talent he already has. Tools you can so work with make it, yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, that's it easier good. Here. Those are good. So, Randall, he's putting you to work with your black screen TV. Get your red light for your room when you're not working at Amazon. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> We're going to yeah. put you to work with getting your past lives in, so you'll start seeing. And what happens is uh, if you can learn them yourself or you can do uh, what we did in Hello Dynamics or what I did in Hawaii to start this Ascension Center. I was called by my higher self, God, and then later on I went up on a spaceship here in Gulf Breeze, but that's it's hard for people to believe. So it's part of your reality you create. But uh, it actually will play itself out in dimensions. And, and I'm big on the cosmos and working uh, like quantum physics and your other self, your other world and all that. Tommy can play with me on the soul level going up and down past lives, near-death experiences, uh, the realms. And then we teach a lot of that. And we've taught it for eight years. But I've never gotten to the details with him. But I want to start. So, Randall, you may want to show up on Sundays, too, because we do a lot more teaching teaching on Sundays, but we still try to run it like the old school. It's like the new school called the Invisible College in Metaphysics. But Tommy studied the arts, so he and I are both metaphysicians, and we studied a lot. I spent my whole life learning all this because I was an investigator and got paid to know people, so I spent a lot of time reading uh, all the tools that could help me. Now, Tommy studied the dark arts more than I did. He actually had a, at one time a covenant of people, a coven. Tommy, you got me saying covenant, darn it. I work for Covenant Transport. That's a covenant. I promise you make with the Lord. <laughs> darn it. Tommy always called it covenant. It's coven. But Tommy literally did some uh, hardcore shadow stuff, the dark side, because uh, you may want to listen to Randolph Peterson. He's really good, and he has his pulse on the reality, and even uh, he's using Pinocchio on something I'm watching him right now. But he's brilliant. He's a, a, te a university teacher in mapping uh, – what was it? Mapping the means? means mapping – anyway, Randolph Peterson. I've just tuned in to him since uh, – I talked to you, Randall, so uh, I think you did that for me. So Randall Peterson, I've never heard of before, but he uh, – some kind of university. Suzanne, have you heard of him? He's really hot right now. Randolph Pe to, Peterson. I'll have to look him up. Yeah, he's not – he's uh, – he's, uh, he, he helped, helped me learn stoic – like the two pillars of reality in this 3D community that we use, and we used them back in Sumerian and Roman and Greek times too, because what it is, Randall, is I'm trying to find a way to speak with people because I've lived so many, we all have billions of lives, and, you know, Tommy and I for sure, and Tommy's been on a few past lives with me, but we, we create in our spiritual community and our paranormal community and our metaphysical community, but now I'm working with alienologists and phenomenologists and you and I have a whole group of people back in the UFO Association back when I was an investigator. And there was people like Don Berliner and uh, Stanton T. Friedman and J. Allen Hynek of 
uh, all these groups that I worked with undercover or underground or dark or research that we were finding, but we didn't talk about it to the humans or the John Q. public. And then when I was a journalist, we never told, you know, what we call the fake news. We called um, what the attorneys and the judges and the big money people and the Secret Service and the, you know, Homeland Security now, but back then it was Secretary of State, all the governments, we all kept. Uh, what we allowed to be in the public and what we didn't. But some of the big billionaires came in and bought up all the magazines and newspapers and the Internet came along and changed all that. So we're going through a major transition in community online. And, you know, the communities want to know what's going on. So it's hard right now because uh, all my people that work in my business, the mystics, oracles, psychics, sages, seers, shaman. The practitioners, light workers, truth seekers. I set all that up in Hawaii and all the way forward. And then I got cornered because I was running ads in the newspaper and I was being on television with Wyland and all these famous artists. And then uh, a book about aliens came out and Roswell and all that. But I believe in all that because I've seen it as a 3D real experience, and I can't deny it anymore. So Tommy's been helping me with that too, but he has the ability to call in extraterrestrials, and some call them aliens. It depends on why, where they come from, the inner universal hemisphere in this galaxy or those outside of this universe. So most people you'll hear on History Channel, Ancient Aliens, talking about the only thing they can bring in for themselves is the Interverse, and that's uh, in in this universe, you know. So uh, there's a lot of training to do, Randall, and uh, you just got to find what fits. You know, we're all going on the same path. But Tommy gave you a a test to see if you'll do that, and uh, I've got. I'll be here Thursday, and I'm going to try to use it where I'll start with a mini reading cards. Uh, and uh, Suzanne just has to hear them talk. But Suzanne, I may refer you if I get you know a hit or or I feel compelled to tell them to contact you or Tommy. But uh, if that's okay with y'all, uh, oh yeah. How did you feel about? Is that okay, Suzanne? Because that yeah, way people absolutely. expect. All right, most of them expect a quick mini reading, and they trust the cards sometimes until they get to know you. Then they'll call in specifically for you. Like that Allison's been around 11 years, but I've got the feeling that y'all – sometimes when you're new on this channel, Suzanne, it'll take a while for people to get to know you, so it's not personal. But I got the feeling I'm, that she was one of the old-timers. <laughs> I'm not I'm – not, uh, you know, it's not – for me it's okay because – I mean, they've okay. called in, and sometimes yeah. somebody has to think about it for a little while. And, and then so they're like, she just, knows, she's right. Yeah. Well, it takes a little time sometimes. Yeah, that's true. And people do warm up. Uh, some will warm up to a male voice, and I need more of those. But, Randall, I hope you'll stick in there. Are you 39? Why am I seeing you so much older? Why are, are you young, right? He's 41. I'm, are you kidding 41. me? Why do you sound so, no. why do you sound so young? I have no idea. Uh-huh. Well, I was I was trying to be nice and, and guess lower, but I, I thought you were somewhere sub forty one, huh? You'll All get right. even more well, confused that's... if you actually saw a picture of me. I'm I even look even younger than that, so Oh my gosh, so you're going to be around forever. So that suits, see, because we're going into AI, and I'm a cyborg now. I have titanium in my neck, and I've been operated on on my back, and Tommy's all messed up, too. But Tommy, do you have, don't you have shoulders that are something? Tommy, what part of you? Are you a cyborg, Tommy? No, I, I had my shoulders operated on, but they didn't put anything inside there. Oh. Okay, well, good. I'm the only cyborg, I guess. Suzanne, you don't have any titanium in you yet? I have nothing in me, and I have no health problems. I have perfect health. The only problem I have is I'm fat and old. Other than okay, that, I'm well, fat health. and old. Is a... Well, we, we've, been, <laughs> we've earned all our hair, and we've earned all our fat. All right, so I, I'm yeah. taking it then. I, I told the universe, that Randall, that if you called in, that we would start another show. But your mother's almost wanting to work more. Uh, Tommy doesn't care. I told Tommy we could do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I hate Mondays. But uh, if y'all want to think about it, uh, there's no rush, but people are here because uh, I've had this on eight years. And Tommy and I have turned down more people because he and I just like to talk to each other. <laughs> but uh, 
Tommy doesn't mind helping, but he's not big on just doing readings only. But uh, Randall, he can help you, and I can help you, and uh, get you some tarot cards, and you can just learn out of the, off the writer deck, R I D E R. That's where I start everybody. I've, I've got some but on it, the. It may not I've got be your company. Oh, do no, no, you? Right? No, we got or deck, no. generic. No, no, no. We got him the. Um, we got him a regular deck. Yeah, that's the writer weight. Usually, what Tommy? Well, when I was with the Tibetan master that I was with, and he w- he wanted me to do card readings, he pulled out one really? deck. He said, "This is the only deck." You, he said, "This is the only deck you should use." Which and he one? Laid did them he out on the suggest? table. The original deck. Uh, I don't even know, but it's the first deck, the real, the first deck they ever made card reading. It's got this. All right. Uh, old. It you can. That's probably a deck you can find in any card store. That tells retard card reading decks and everything. All I want to say is, yeah. the, he weighed them out in an eight, uh, eight cards, and then when I stared at them, they all became real. Okay, so you actually, got the same power I do. That's what happens to me. Each all right, well that video, that takes a long time. That takes a long time, yeah. Tommy. So you just have the but, gift. You know, you have the gift. I just had it. Yeah, I, I just did it one well, time. Then, and started doing why don't what it you does. use it? Why don't you, you know, use I'm not sure I've never tr- known you to be a card I'm, reader. I want to teach people about the truth, not, uh, I mean, the truth of what soul came here for. And when you read for people, you're telling them about their lives, their past, their present, their future. But how about what soul is, what soul came here for, and where soul's going to go? I mean, that's more important to me than the physical reality. And the well, same first money, you got to teach them to believe in, in reincarnation well, and soul. Well, tell they them don't that they believe like us. Next week. Uh, yeah, I know, but if you tell them they're going to get a girlfriend next week, that's not going to make them look and search for God. Uh, so uh, Well, it doesn't matter. God, and then you'll find your girlfriend. Well, humans, while we're here, we're all on various levels, and not everybody I've seen is the billions of years old. And so readers, not all my readers, some of them don't even know they've been here before. Some of them don't even know about a past life, you know. Oh, my God, did I forget somebody? Hold on. Was 917? Oh, my God. Hold on. 917, did we read you? <laughs> Did we did we reach you nine one seven? Yeah. Is that you? Oh. No, not me. I'm nine four nine. Randall's seven one four and yeah, is nine one seven there? Maybe yeah. they're just listening. Maybe they're just listening to Okay. Us. Okay. Yeah. And I think Donna's still here. Donna, are you still here? Huh. Showing people are still on. Uh, only them, a 917. And a, well, I guess we ought to have a meeting off air. So, Randall, what are your hours? Do you work day or night? Um, or both. Right now I work day, Whatever. I work both and night, and then some days oh, I'm, wow. just home in the, I'm home in the evening, oh. and then if this whole mess with the virus goes away, I go back to working nights and go back to my job as a bouncer chasing drunks. Oh, that's fun. Uh, why don't you uh, and your mom schedule a Skype meeting, and uh, we can do a Skype and off air, because this apparently is still going to be, and some of the networks are going to be upset, because I went over what they allow me on uh, all the all the syndication. But uh, anyway, I've been here eight years, Randall, and people come, as you can see, I'll always have people get upset they didn't get on air. But we need to get a code where if I'm, if I'm going to read with two other people or three other, I have to have a code because they're used to many readings and they all call in and want different things. And then Tommy just likes to work at the deeper level of why they even come down to the planet. He works at a very deep level. And Suzanne's been doing it, so she's a pro. She does it her way. Now you just got to develop your way and see what <laughs> – tools but you know whatever tools you want to do but let's talk and have a skype meeting uh and i've got comcast i'm paying for we can do it in person and record it uh but we're getting we need okay. to start training people uh if i would suggest you grab my ace life coach i would give it to you i think it's eight bucks you may can get it on ebook but it's uh i can't even get it myself i ordered it i've got here in this book it says i ordered it January 2019, 13th of January. I had to order my own book January because uh, what happened is I lost my computers, and uh, Amazon that used to be on CreateSpace went to Kindle Direct and took all my files. And even though I, oh, I do Kindle eBooks now, 
I don't even have access to my old files. But anyway, in there, at least, no, I didn't put it, darn it.